Um, hi, welcome to this week's weekly vlog, uh, the first I've recorded since Parliament went into summer recess and um, contrary to what you might read in the papers, that doesn't mean that MPs all pack up their bags and disappear off on holiday for six weeks. In fact, quite the reverse, it's a great opportunity to be able to do lots around the patch and to get to do a lot of things that happen during the week on weekday daytimes that um, you're often up in Westminster uh, and have to miss. So um, great to be able to get out and about and do some of those things over the last couple of weeks. Um, the government, of course, is still at work too. And the announcement that really caught my eye in the last week or so was the announcement from the Home Secretary that um, cannabis for medicinal purposes is going to be legalised. I think that's it's very welcome. Um, it's an issue that I didn't really have tons of awareness about, um, but there were two very high profile cases um, highlighted in the national media a month or so ago. And since then, a number of people have been to see me in surgery and have written to me with their own story about the pain that they're living in and how uh, cannabis has been um, helpful to them, in fact, very helpful to them. Uh, and so I was able, uh, on their behalf, to um, to encourage the Home Secretary to to uh, change the government's approach to this. I'm delighted to see his has, and I know that there are lots of people locally who will be not just delighted with that, but relieved that that's the decision the government have taken. So um, I, I was pleased to, to see that happen. Um, last week, the Clinical Commissioning Group uh, had a meeting in Shepton Mallet, which um, is part of their programme, sort of getting out uh, around the county, and uh, I was able to go along to that. Good to um, be able to hear them discussing issues that obviously have applied in Shepton with the temporary closure of the war. Great to see that now open again. Um, but just more generally, really, about the way that we do healthcare around the county, how we meet the changing uh, needs of, uh, of the community. Um, and you know, one of the questions I asked, you know, was the, the Prime Minister has announced it's very welcome huge amount of additional cash for the NHS and does that change anything in terms of the way that the CCG is developing um, its thinking on how healthcare should be delivered in Somerset? And the answer was actually no. Um, the extra money is very, very useful, but they consider, this is the sort of clinicians, the doctors who are involved in running healthcare in Somerset, they say that we still need to make these changes in terms of the way that we do um, service delivery because a lot of it is quite outdated. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but it means that for those who say that these changes are motivated by cash, that's not the case. These changes are motivated by doctors and nurses who are looking at the challenges the NHS faces, and they're working out what the best way is to deliver the excellence that patients require. And the job of government is to make sure that we then fund that. Um, so I will look forward to seeing what plans they come up with. Uh, and uh, I found it very interesting to be able to attend their board meeting and hear some of the things that they and members of the public were, um, were talking about. Um, today I've just been over in Street uh, where the Dementia Action Alliance um, has uh, tried to sort of start off a new, uh, a new group in, in Street, uh, very, very successful in Wells. Um, quickly growing in uh, Glastonbury and Shepton as well. I know that there's a, a, an embryonic effort to set up a Dementia Action Alliance in Burnham and Highbridge, which I think would be great. And I know they're looking to do the same in Cheddar. These groups do great, great work. Um, you know, volunteers coming together to be dementia friendly uh, and also to help connect people living with dementia with all the great stuff that's going on around our community. So great to see that happening in, um, in Street today. Uh, this week, uh, the highlight for me was the Apex Park Play Day um, because I got to uh, conflate being the Member of Parliament and a dad uh, and was able to take two very excited children to an amazing play day um, in Apex Park in Highbridge. Um, clearly, neither the organisers nor the council had anything to do with the weather, but that was very helpful indeed. Um, but it was wonderfully organised. It's the fourth or fifth of these I think that there's been now. Huge number of people there um, and great fun. And you know what a fantastic thing to have for free um, for so many people in our community to enjoy. Um, and then the final thing I just wanted to say this week is, you know, the weather has been extraordinary. And I know that that is causing all sorts of problems for local farmers. Um, and I, I've sort of been reading with interest the stuff that's been in the press about what might be necessary um, to help 
with um, farmers through quite a challenging time. But the flip of that is the other one of our traditional industries locally, tourism is going absolute gangbusters. Um, I'm hearing all sorts of amazing things about records being broken for visitor numbers um, at attractions across the county. All of our uh, tourist accommodations tell me that, um, that they're having one of the best seasons ever. So um, let's get the rain we need for the farmers but let's also keep this going because um, it's doing great things for our local economy as well. Um, that's enough from me. Uh, more next week. Thank you.